Hi guys, Warren Dow from the Real Estate Technology Institute. This week's tech tip of the week is Google's Structured Data Tester. SEO has changed drastically over the last couple of years. And now uh, Google is no longer just looking for content, but they're looking for how that content is reported back through what they call structured data or schema. Uh, it's the way to make sure that the content that you create is actually being found by the search engines. So I'm going to walk you through how to test your own website, test different pages within your website, and really what to look for when you're having that discussion with your web, your current web provider or potentially a new one. Okay, so we're going to start out with schema.org. Um, ultimately, the search engines got together a couple years ago, and we're talking about Google, Microsoft, Yahoo, Yandex. Those are the, the largest stakeholders out there, Google being the biggest. And they all said, we're getting tricked. People are putting keywords that have nothing to do with the content on a page. And so they said, you know what, we're going to, we need to understand what every piece of data on a website is. And so they created Schema. So if you come here, schema.org, and you click on schemas, you're going to end up on a page that's going to outline different types of schemas. Okay, so commonly used ones. Well, real estate is a local business. So we come to the local business. Now this is all the, the format of how they want content coming back. But it goes further. Real estate has its own. A real estate agent has its own specific set of schema that the data on their website is supposed to be reported back to the search engine in a particular format. Now, most of this is stuff that's built into the coding of the website, how information is reported back. Um, this is, Most of this is not something that you can do on your own, but it's important for you to know what structured data is uh, so that you can talk to your uh, website provider about it and make sure that they are uh, doing the best that they can to get your content found. You can ultimately have the best content in the world, but if the search engine doesn't understand what that content means, it may not be doing you any good. So um, there are all these different fields that relate to different types of information. Now you can test this. Google has a tool for that. So if you go to google.com uh, backslash webmasters, you're going to end up, uh, it's going to ask you to sign in and then it's going to bring you to this home page. Well, um, if you go to other resources, the top one is structured data testing tool. Now I'm going to show you a website from uh, the company that I formerly owned, Barcode Realty, um, just to show you how structured data should be looking. So this is just a common, uh, regular listing page on a website, and I'm going to copy and paste that URL into the testing tool. Now we're going to run that test and we're going to see what the search engine actually finds from the content on this page, right? Some pictures, um, some basic information from the MLS, we have the public remarks, want to know more, we have the listing agent, all of that stuff. Okay, so what did they find? Well, they found that this is a product, that it is in stock that there's a currency and a price associated with it, that there are pictures, um, that there's a Facebook account connected to that brokerage, there's an MLS ID, there's the public remarks. Um, there's a lot of information that we're reporting back to make sure that, that, that the search engine actually understands. They know that this is a product, right? They know that it has a SKU number or an MLS number uh, based on... Um, how the real estate schema works. Um, there's there is a lot more here as well because now we have to tell them more information about how to navigate to it. We have to show them information that it is a single family residence, that there is a latitude and longitude coordinate, that there is an actual address. We're reporting back that information so that the search engine can match somebody's search to a website or a web page that has as much if of the information that's requested or what they anticipate that that person is actually um, expecting. Now, I also pulled up a random listing on uh, Remax.com, and I'm not trying to single out Remax. I'm just trying to let you know that this there are not many people out there that are doing much with structured data, and this is a great way to stand out. So we're going to go back here. And we're going to now plug in the new URL. And we're going to run that test. And let's see what comes back. 
Now keep in mind, this is just a random Remax site. Unspecified type, there are some, there are warnings there though, uh, meaning that they're not reporting it back in the right way. Um, the breadcrumbs, there are some errors there that there's no title or URL field, um, but they are they are bringing it some information back. This is just one of those scenarios where we know that the structured data and how they're defining that content on your site is really important. And if you have MLS data on your site, that's some of the most valuable content that you can have. So that's the tech tip of the week. Um, be sure to check back at reti.us. Uh, weekly for the newest tips of the week, uh, the webinars, the after hours. Um, please let us know if there's anything that you want us to uh, talk about, and we would be happy to do that for you.